the pet of the week brought to you by first national bank are you ready to turn your dreams into reality look no further than first national bank your genuine Maine community bank Welcome back, everyone. Well, we're very happy to have our friend Catherine Ravenscraft from Bangor Humane Society joining us once again. And on our Pet of the Week segment today, we have a funny little, a fuzzy little bunny. <laughs> a, fuzzy a funny little, little bunny. bunny. Yeah. He is a funny little <laughs> yeah. bunny, too. Yeah. So this is Pembroke. Oops. Sorry, buddy. Uh, Pembroke <laughs> <He's so chill. laughs> is, he really is. He is a mini lop. He is fully grown. We estimate his age right around four. Uh, he was brought in to us as a surrender, and unfortunately, he had quite a few medical issues that needed to yeah. be addressed yeah. before he uh, is ready for adoption. I believe he's going to go up for adoption sometime early next week. Mm -hmm. um, but he had a, um, a hernia, an abdominal hernia, Aww. that was mm. causing some pressure on his bladder. Yeah. So he needed a surgery to correct yeah. that, along with his neuter. And uh, he also was treated, we believe, for mites, but you you can sort of see this this almost bald spot here right. which is a little more yeah. than you would see with common molting yeah. on a yeah. bunny um, He's but like, don't point that out Come I on. know yeah. I yeah. know they have their vanity yeah. too <laughs> right. yeah but um, he is just the sweetest boy when I oh, I was telling you when I opened the kennel uh, earlier this morning to get him out he just flopped onto mm. the door and put his face right down onto the Aww. kennel so that I could pet him um, and you know bunnies are prey animals so it's not super common, mm -hmm. even when they've been handled, for them to be so yeah. comfortable around people. Yeah. And he basically just jumped into my arms. Right. So. Mm -hmm. and, and now, after you took him out of his transport container, he's just sitting here happy to chill. He is, I feel, yeah. I feel like we don't see this that often from yeah. the smaller ones. No, you really don't. And I had picked him up and was cuddling him close, and he was just curled right up. <laughs> yes, and, he really did. Yeah, sometimes um, buns will kind of kick, you know, which Right. Is, which is normal, but see, he is just completely contented yep. being trusting. handled a little bit. He yeah. is. He'll he make is. a really trusting pet. But he will. you were also saying Pembroke was his name when when he was um, surrendered. So maybe, hopefully, if somebody is okay with keeping that name, that I I always love that when people keep a name mm -hmm. that yeah. an animal came in with. I mean, I think maybe for dogs and cats, it's a little more important because they know their name. Yeah, right? sure. They really do. Right. And sometimes that's the thing that makes me the saddest when a Ray comes mm -hmm. in that I don't know their name. Yeah. Um, but but even for a bunny, they know their names. I had <laughs> yeah. bunnies for years, and I felt like when I said their names, they would, you know, right. cock an eye towards me. Right. So <laughs> we've talked about bunnies as pets before, and they they are great pets. Um, but they they're a, a commitment, just like mm -hmm. any other pet. They um, are. But they're more than just an animal you can just put in a cage too. They can get out and play and they do can and, and they thing. should. They yeah. need a lot of exercise. Think about what bunnies do in the wild. Mm -hmm. They just run and run and run and they forage and yeah. uh, so they will forage in your house for <laughs> electrical wires and oh, <laughs> furniture. Keep an eye on them. So you need yeah. to be very careful. But uh, yeah, they're delightful. I, mine were, my bunnies that I had were free range bunnies. They yeah. just uh, kind of had the lay of the land yeah. at the house. And I'm sorry, I'll be thinking about foraging for electrical <laughs> wires all day. <laughs> no, yes, don't do that. Exactly. <laughs> all right, Catherine, it looks like we're about out of time. Thank Thank you. Thank you, as always. Yeah. We'll send it over to Conrad Sapinski for our full weather forecast.